This thing tastes amazing every year. Hey guys, Eric here with Project DIY. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to take this turkey. We're going to deep fry it for our Thanksgiving dinner. We've done it a few years ago. Everybody loved it, and we've kind of gotten uh, accustomed to it. It's better than in the oven, and now it's just kind of family tradition. It's something we do. And I'm here at my mom's house. She's here with me. She's put this rub on for me. We're getting ready to inject it with some uh, different marinade here. This right here is the brand that I have. There's different ones. You can make up your own, or you can buy one from the store. I believe mine come with the injector here. Um, let me show you real quick. So there's your piece that it's gonna actually hold, and there's your needle, okay? So you just take it, if I can get it in there, and you just twist it, that's all you do. Just a little twist, and that holds it on there. And it has your little holes right here on the needle. That's what sucks it up, and then as you're pushing the, uh, injecting it with it, that's where it's going to come out. Get your marinade, open it up. Some people say don't inject it 50 different holes. I don't know, I put it where I want it because they say the more holes you have, the more it comes out, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I've done it the same way every year and it's worked fine, so I've never had any issues. You just want to take it, kind of put it under skin, and you can see here in a second, it's gonna start bul bulging up. Just like that there, just kind of take it to where it stops. You know, kind of like some of the people that like to juice up and take steroids, that's probably what they look like. Oop. You can see it bulging. I don't know if you can see very well in the video, but you'll see it when you do it. You'll see the skin start bulging up on it and you know it's getting full. So just kind of go down through here and just take in a few different spots and inject it up. Most of where I put mine is in up here in the breast part where majority of your meat is. I'll do a little bit on the thighs and stuff as well. But you just take it down through there and inject it. You can see here we have an actual rub on here as well. Mom was going to show us what she did to it, how she done it, and what's kind of involved with that. It just gives it like the skin a little flavor and everything as well. So what, what, what did you do to, uh, to get this prepped for us? The recipe's name is Mom's Deep Fried Turkey Rub. And you take two tablespoons of garlic powder. These are all two tablespoons. Uh, garlic powder, seasoning salt, lemon pepper, creole seasoning and then you do a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And you mix those all in a bowl, mix them all up real good, and then you just rub it on your turkey a day before um, you inject it, and it's ready to eat. Gotcha. And this tastes so good, I've been told it tastes so good you smack your mama. Is that gonna be true today? Uh, you better not. Oh. <laughs> okay, well. No smacking I'll, the mama. All right, well, we better not try that then, so. Enjoy Thanksgiving, people. Yep. Uh, we're letting the oil heat up now, then we're going to take this out there, we're going to baptize it for about an hour. I'll give you the specs on the, the oil temperature you're supposed to have, and then how long you're supposed to cook it. It's going to vary by turkey, depending on how big it is, how small it is, all that fun stuff. Biggest thing, do not do it frozen. You will regret it, okay? So do not baptize it when it's frozen. Follow step by step what we're going to do here, because you can get yourself in some deep doo-doo if you don't. So, first thing I want to show you, I've already gotten this lit. Um, it's boiling already. We've got to get it up to temp, but one thing I want to show you We have a big uh, we have a stand here. Okay stand with your lead over to your propane You light it get it up to temp. Okay, so that's pretty simple explain for you One thing I want to explain here that you need to do you have this piece here that the turkey's gonna sit inside of that Okay, and then this whole piece is gonna sit down inside of this here so you can dunk it in there we'll run something through here so nobody gets burned and we'll just lower the whole thing down there but what you need to do is you need to take the turkey before you done anything to it you buy it from the store unthaw it stick it down in here and then stick that thing down in the pot and fill it with waters to where it covers the turkeys that way when you put your oil in that way you know you have enough but not too much because if you've watched any of the videos where things go uh, awry when somebody's doing these turkeys they have too much oil and they dunk that turkey in there and it goes over, hits that fire, and it goes nuts. That is a way to eliminate that. So what we do is when I have her do that, she fills it up with water and then she just makes a mark on the inside. That way I know when I put the oil in there, I fill it up to that mark 
and then it know it's not going to overflow on me and it'll be enough oil to cover the turkey and deep fry the whole thing at the same time so as to be honest one of the most important things you're going to do when you do the turkey other than not putting it in frozen do not put it in frozen another point do not do it on your deck don't do it near your house we're doing it out here right out in front of the garage in the gravel so if something does go crazy we won't have any issues so just want to give you that tip so follow these instructions and trust me you're going to enjoy the turkey it will be very flavorful very juicy won't be dry you won't even have to have gravy all right another thing you're going to need when you're doing this too you're going to need two thermometers you're like why do i need two thermometers because you need two thermometers all right one this one here is going to be to check the actual meat of the turkey okay once you're deep frying it you can check to make sure it needs to be a minimum of a 165 okay probably no more than 180 probably 170 would be better if you want to stick it in the breast and this is what this one here is going to do okay just one like this it's got the different meats on all right the other one you're going to need is you need a long one i'm not going to reach down in there because it's very hot but you can see right now it's showing what our oil temperature is right now it's 250 and that it's got a long probe down there. It's got a little hook on it that hooks on the side of the, uh, just like that there, hooks on the side of the pot. And that will tell you what your oil temperature is because you want to get your oil temperature up minimum of 350, possibly max of 375. That way, because you're putting a, uh, we're going to be using like a 20, 22 pound turkey. So you go drop a 22 pound turkey that's about 40 degrees down there. It's obviously going to drop your temperature quite a bit. So you can get it a little higher if you want it. To begin with or you can just dunk it at a uh, 350 it's, it's your choice it just take a little bit longer to get the uh the oil back up to the temp that you want to cook it at which is 350 degrees not a big deal but you just need to have all this planned out when you're going to do it have it ready so you're not scrambling around for stuff all right so you want to take your turkey i just want to sit it right down in here you want to sit the hole up legs up okay set your legs up facing you and then we're going to take uh, where's your rod? We'll take a rod here. We're going to run it through the handle here. All right, then we're just going to slowly take it over here and go down. You just don't want to dunk it all at one time. Just go real slow with it. Deliciousness bubbling and turning there. Got a thermometer. This is. It's going to keep very good all the day long, too. 350. Now we just sit and wait. It's going to cook for about an hour. Like It's all going to vary on the size of your turkey. I believe it's like three to four minutes per pound. This was like a 20 to 22 pounder. So it's going to take about an hour, maybe a fuzz over an hour. So you just kind of play that out. Like I said, that's what your other thermometer is for. You'll go and insert that after you've cooked it for a while. Make sure it's at least 165, preferably around 170, and then you're good to go. So, so we're going to just fry for just a little bit longer, and we'll be ready to pull it out, get it carved up, and ready to start eating. Check this. All right, the turkey is getting the police escort today to the carver's table. Yes, it would. We would all hate you for life. <laughs> yeah, a lot more. This thing tastes amazing every year. The crust is almost the best part, but the chicken breast is still nice and juicy. Deep fried these babies. The chicken breast? I thought it was the turkey. Or the turkey breast, sorry. There you go. Perfect temperature. Almost like we planned it. Basically professional. Alright guys, so that's how you deep fried turkey step by step. Remember number one, make sure it's not frozen. That's the major first boo-boo. Do not do that. You can see other videos of that and you do not want to try that. Secondly, go ahead, before you get your oil put in there, put the turkey in with water. Get the water above the turkey. That way it's submerged fully in oil. Put your mark there. That way you know exactly and then Take it out, put your mark there, that way you know exactly how much oil you need. And then 
you know, when you're loading it in, take it slow, and after that, it's just a matter of time. Figure out how much you need, get your temperature on the turkey right. That way, uh, everything will be done. You won't have any issues with the meat being done and not being up to temperature. So, guys, hope you like this. Try this out this Thanksgiving, and you know, you will not be sorry that you did. So, if you would, subscribe to the channel and uh, give us some likes. Uh, share this video. So, if you have some people that you know that's talked about it, shoot it over to them. They can watch this. It'll be a great success. And remember, as always, why hire a guy when you can DIY. Thanks for watching. See, look. Weenie's already ate too much turkey. He's dead to the world. Oh.